finally, we are at the last part of our IA report, and that is called the source of error and limitation and also the improvement and extension. First of all, I would like to talk about the format, and here is an example from the IA sample from the teacher supporting material. I'll put a link in the description below, and you will find uh, the file there. If you go to the link, you will see the same file as I'm showing you here, and uh, you can read the details if you want, but what I want to show you is at the end, in the evaluation, I would like you to have the same format as well. So uh, mainly I would say it is more about showing it in a table rather than in paragraphs because it's just much easier for you to follow and also for the examiner to follow as well. So note that there will be three columns. Uh, one is the source of error and its effect and also whether or not it is significant and how to improve it. Before we start to talk about what kind of errors you can put down, you have to understand the difference between procedural and methodological error first, which is written in the marking criteria and is also mentioned in the exam report, which I mentioned earlier in the previous video. So you can see uh, the word procedural here and also methodological issue in uh, the middle and the higher band. So if you really want to get a high marks in evaluation you should focus more on the methodological issues so you may ask what exactly are they and here is a brief idea for procedure which is the one that only can give you the lower band is involving ideas like uh, repeating more times or use and more precise equipment so you can see that these are the example of uh, the so-called error that you can actually apply to all the research question so basically everyone can use it and that's why it's not being appreciated as much as the methodological because for the other one the methodological one uh, is very research question specific okay so it depends on what kind of IA what kind of uh, investigation that you are doing and it is also involving the design of the methodology so that's why I can't tell you directly what kind of error you have you have really have to think about uh, what kind of error you can realize or discover but of course I'll give you more hints in the coming few minutes first of all for error and limitation you should put the most significant error or limitation first in your table because there might be some other errors but they are not as important. So I would say uh, you should always put the one that has the biggest effect to your IA report first. The next thing is uh, you may want to start brainstorming the error by checking the assumptions in your framework. So whether or not the assumptions are still valid throughout the whole experiment, maybe it is violated when you assume, for example, when there's no air, res air resistance, uh, but of course there might, might be. Uh, a certain effect so these are the things that you could check uh, by going back to look at the framework assumption that you made the second thing you can check is whether or not your dependence variable is really depends on your independent variable only because there might be a case where uh, you your independent variable changed something else and that thing that variable or parameter will change the independent variable indirectly. So that is something you may want to uh, check and read through as well. This one is quite tricky. You may want to check uh, in some other literature carefully. And lastly, something you can check is uh, whether or not your control variable is really constant. Of course, I mean, ideally it should be constant, uh, but whether or not it is really constant or to what degree it is being inconsistent that is something you could also mention as well. As for the two kinds of error, of course, as you learn in IB physics, you know there will be random error and systematic error. And for random error, usually people will talk about their equipment because this is where you have your random error due to the uncertainty of the equipment. However, we don't appreciate if you just simply blame the equipment for the precision because for every equipment, they have precision issue. Uh, even for equipment in NASA or in whatever science lab, uh, the equipment they use, they must have uh, a certain absolute uncertainty. So it is not about uh, realizing, hey, they have, there is absolute uncertainty. It's more about uh, whether that 
absolute uncertainty is large or not. So you could talk about it, but don't always talk about it if it is not significant. So you can uh, try to see maybe depending on your measurement, if your measurement somehow uh, is very close in terms of percentage, like I took the example earlier, if you're measuring 0 0.2 plus or minus 0 0.1 of something, then of, of course that's going to be a large random error. Or if you have having like 0 0.4, uh, like this is about 50%, right? I would say uh, for around maybe 15 or 10 percent is still quite large but if you are within say 10 percent um, I guess it's not something you could you should talk about uh, for the first priority and lastly for the systematic error uh, since you know systematic error in its nature it should have the same direction of effect so that is to say when you say measure something uh, for example one of the example that you should have learned is it could be when you measure a sphere, uh, you may not be able to measure the diameter. That is the largest length, basically, uh, as possible. You may be measuring something else like this one. All right, so within this only. So uh, you are underestimating the diameter. So you may want to talk about how the underestimation of this would lead to something else. So maybe you underestimate the uh, speed or whatsoever. So my point to make is uh, you have to specify how this direction of effects so or measuring more or less will affecting other measurement and eventually lead to your dependent variable. So whether or not the dependent variable will be overestimated or underestimated, this should be specified instead of just saying oh it will be affected. Alright, so that will be very vague and we don't like it. For the possible improvement and future extension, these are something that you could think about. However, it does not cover everything, so still try to think more um, after going through this list. So first of all, uh, I would say you should not try to suggest something when you when you are making an improvement. Uh, suggest something that you could have done at the beginning. So for example. Maybe you're working with something related to sound intensity measurements that you can you, you may want to suggest oh I could have put the soundproof material uh, to enclose it but then again this is something that you could have done at the beginning so I would say uh, these may not look, look good for you so um, it would be the best if you can suggest something else or you should explain why you couldn't do it at the first time Second, if you look at the criteria, uh, they want you to put realistic extension or improvement. So that is to say, uh, you should not be saying something like, oh, I could use a battery without uh, any internal resistance. I mean, this is no way it, it could happen in real life. Uh, or you can say, simply say a more precise equipment. Again, um, it is possible, but then uh, it may not be realistic for the lab and also the effect may not be that significant. Uh, you may also think about uh, performing the experiment in the vacuum space again. This is not realistic in a secondary high school lab. Remember you should uh, still remain this as a secondary school lab setting. So you can't say I go to NASA, a fancy lab uh, with the equipment to do. So that is not realistic. Number three, uh, that's something that people always overlook. Uh, remember that you cannot avoid absolute error. So that is to say when you use a certain measurement tool like ruler, electronic balance, whatsoever, even with a digital data logger, there must be absolute error involved. However, you cannot avoid that, uh, but you could reduce the percentage error. Okay, so the idea is uh, thinking about the things that you are measuring, uh, you you can calculate the percentage error by the absolute uncertainty of that over the value of it, right? So as long as you increase the value of the average, then the whole thing would decrease. The percentage error could reduce. So that is to say maybe you are upscaling your experiment to a certain size, then you can increase x log here. And even though with the same equipment, the same delta x, you can still reduce the percentage error. And that is, of course, good for your experiment. 
and that may also relate to number four here that is uh, changing the choice or magnitude of the control variables so uh, for example if uh, say in your framework the equation is uh, a equals to b times c over d and you are just studying uh, how the effect of c affecting a uh, what actually happened is you may find out a is very hard to measure because it's so small um, comparing to the uncertainty of the tool that you are measuring so what you can do is you can increase b or decrease d so that eventually i mean of course these are still controversial don't don't fall, don't get me wrong right these are still controversial it's still a constant for all the experiment however if you do this then the value the magnitude of a will increase when you uh when you do throughout the whole investigation so these are the the idea why we need to have the pilot study and of course you can further improve it um, to reduce the percentage error of your measurement by doing this uh, however again you may want to explain why you could not increase this or decrease this or whatsoever uh, at the beginning of your experiment so maybe it's because of the uh, reason considering the cost or the feasibility or uh, the ways of resources etc and last two may or may not be applicable to your IA is uh, you may try to check and see whether or not, whether or not uh, making your independent variable range wider will be helpful especially when you see maybe in your uh, data analysis you find out the relationship is not perfectly confirmed or uh, you are not very confident with the relationship that you establish or there is disagreement with your experimental data and the literature data so uh, maybe making it wider or trying to do more intervals in those areas may help you to uh, further investigate the validity of the data and lastly in some again in some IA research question uh, you may find there's a loss of uh, energy or loss of temperature etc uh, for some of those research question maybe you can think about whether doing it faster so that is to say uh, let's say you do it in a normal pace then there will be a loss of uh, charge or loss of uh, energy throughout the steps but then maybe if you can do it faster or even think about changing with a certain methodology uh, you can reduce that effect and that will hopefully improve your measurement in terms of independent variable so these are the things that you can think about for your improvement and future extension uh, you could if this does not belong to any of the era you can even set up a new paragraph after the table to suggest that that's also fine as well and again don't be limited by the list that i gave you here you can always think of something else also